The TCG Anadolu isn't merely a warship, it's a herald of change, symbolizing the geopolitical transformation of the Turkish armed forces as the world braces itself for a potential second Cold War. The Turkish military prowess has evolved beyond recognition from the Cold War-era defense combat organization, designed to stave off the Soviet Union's divisions. Throughout the 2020s, the Turkish armed forces have expanded their reach, establishing advanced bases from Africa to the Middle East and the Caucasus. This expansion has been bolstered by the Turkish defense industry's technological advancements and export portfolio. The Turkish Navy is now in the process of constructing an open sea fleet, equipped with cutting-edge robotic combat capabilities. The TCG Anadolu is set to have a distinct combat value compared to other Juan Carlos I-class and derivative amphibious assault ships in the Australian and Spanish navies. This is largely due to its naval aviation capacity, which will predominantly consist of unmanned combat aerial vehicles. It's no surprise that some media outlets have taken to describing the TCG Anadolu as a drone ship. The designation of the TCG Anadolu as an unmanned combat aerial vehicle UCAV ship is a solution born out of necessity. Originally Turkey was to have a sizable F-35A fleet as part of the F-35 program. However, Turkey's exclusion from the F-35 project disrupted the planned acquisition of F-35B jets, which were intended for use on the TCG Anadolu. Undeterred, Turkish decision-makers found an ambitious solution, pairing the TCG Anadolu with the country's burgeoning UAV capacity. The Bayraktar TB-2, a system with extensive combat experience from Libya to Karabakh and Ukraine, is one such example. The Kizilelma jet-powered UCAV, with its turbofan engine technology, internal weapon stations, and aeroballistic missile certification, has also garnered attention. However, the TB-3 UAV is set to form the backbone of the TCG Anadolu's robotic combat capacity. Despite not having the extensive military evaluations of the TB-2, or Kizilelma, its foldable wing design makes it ideal for deployment on amphibious assault ships. The TB-3, with its payload capacity of 280 kilograms, can carry 130 kilograms more than the TB-2. It also has a higher cruise speed and maximum speed than the TB-2 and will fly with its indigenous PD-170 engine. In time, a variant of the Kizilelma will also be fitted to the TCG Anadolu. So, what does the TCG Anadolu offer Turkey and its allies? Beyond its military capabilities, the TCG Anadolu, a 30-000 ton warship, is a tool of defense diplomacy. Prestigious warships are among the most valuable diplomatic assets of the countries they represent. Every port visit, every mission, every training exercise further cements Turkey's place on the world stage. In summary, the TCG Anadolu is more than a warship. It is a testament to the evolution of the Turkish armed forces, a symbol of Turkey's geopolitical transformation, and a beacon of innovation in naval warfare. It is a ship that sails towards a future of advanced military capabilities and greater global influence. Turkey's military advancements aren't just for domestic use. In fact, Turkey has suggested it may even build drone carriers for export. The president of Turkey's Defense Industry Agency said in July that the country was in the final stages of talks over a potential contract to build a landing helicopter dock similar to the Anadolu for export to one of the Arab Gulf states. This new vessel would also carry drones, extending the reach of Turkey's innovative naval warfare technology. This potential export deal signifies Turkey's growing influence in the global defense industry. Join Intel Prime Channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including early access to new videos, exclusive discounts on Intel products, behind-the-scenes content, live chat with me and other members. Other options will be soon available. Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow.